Hi! Welcome back to the Bluebird Bookshelf, your home for wholesome and happy books for kids. If we haven't met yet, my name is Kelly and I'm so excited to read with you today. Today we're reading a very special bedtime story called Time for Bed by my favorite children's book author, Mim Fox. You're going to see how some animals that you probably recognize get ready for bed. You ready? Let's read. Time for bed. Ooh, a polar bear. It's time for bed, little mouse, little mouse. Darkness is falling all over the house. It's time for bed, little goose, little goose. The stars are out and on the loose. It's time for bed, little cat, little cat. So snuggle in tight. That's right, like that. It's time for bed, little calf, little calf. What happened today that made you laugh? It's time for bed, little foal, little foal. I'll whisper a secret, but don't tell a soul. It's time for bed, little fish, little fish. So hold your breath and make a wish. It's time for bed, little sheep, little sheep. The whole wide world is going to sleep. It's time to sleep, little bird, little bird. So close your eyes, not another word. It's time to sleep, little bee, little bee. Yes, I love you and you love me. It's time to sleep, little snake, little snake. Good gracious me, you're still awake? It's time to sleep, little pup, little pup. If you don't sleep soon, the sun will be up. It's time to sleep, little dear, little dear. The very last kiss is almost here. The stars on high are shining bright. Sweet dreams, my darling, sleep well. Good night. The end. I hope you enjoyed reading Time for Bed with me as much as I enjoyed reading with you. Let me ask you a question. What do you do right before you say good night? Do you give your mom and dad a kiss? Do you say your prayers? Do you close your eyes and think of good things? Hmm. What do you do before you say good night? Let me know. See you later. Bye.